Do you know the alphabet? Some guys don't. Greetings. I'm Jim W6LG, as you can tell by the call sign growing out of the back of my head. Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. Can you CQ? Three run, Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. W6LG. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. QRZ Europe. Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. It's a beautiful morning, and the sun's been acting up. There's been coronal mass ejections, so conditions are really poor this morning. Um, a couple of days ago, I heard a, a, a guy in Texas uh, attempting to work a guy in Russia, and the guy in Russia was hearing the guy in Texas but couldn't understand the, the Texan's call sign. And the reason for that was the Texan used phonetics that were, to be nice, uh, not standard. And you've got to remember, you've got to do situational awareness when you're on the air. How well is a guy hearing you? Where is he? What is the situation? And in this case, um, the guy in Texas didn't seem to understand that the guy in Russia, although he could say his name and his location in a signal report, and he knew um, the alpha, the uh, the alphabet. Really didn't understand much beyond that. So here's what the guy in Texas was doing. He was giving his call sign something like WWW five. Here comes Texas. And he would say that over and over again. And the Russian guy is responding with I don't understand. And <clears throat> the reason why he's doing that is. He maybe has never heard the word here comes. So he's got the last letter Texas, but here comes to him could be one word. It could be two words. He had no idea what it was. And he kept telling the guy in Texas, I don't understand. And the guy in Texas kept responding with WWW5, here comes Texas. And he would say that over and over again. And finally he got sort of exasperated and he said, I don't, the Texan said, I don't know why you don't understand. Well, doesn't understand because those are words he's never heard. And the idea of phonetics is to make it easier for the other person to understand your call sign. So there are phonetic alphabets that most hams have learned or are at least aware of. The ARRL recommends the uh, ITU or NATO um, phonetic alphabet. And I really think that's what you, what you should use or some close variation of that or another phonetic alphabet is one that uses countries um, and that's like uh, America, Boston, Canada, Denmark, England, France, Germany, Honolulu and on and on it goes. Those are words that a guy in, in, the, uh, in Russia or, another, or in China or wherever has likely heard. There's some exceptions though. One of them is California. It's my understanding that in Russian, California is spelled with a K, so C and K could be confused. In any case, the guy in Texas kept saying over and over and again, here comes Texas, here comes Texas, I don't know why you don't understand. And it would have been simple if he'd have used the uh, ITU Hotel Tango Charlie, and then the Russian guy probably would have gotten his call sign immediately. So... What's my point? My point is, think about who you're talking to and where he is. If it's another W6, it's a whole different story. You could, If your call sign is W6 Bob, you could say W6 Broken Old Bottles or, or something like that. Uh, and he'll get it. But a guy in Russia, you say W6 Broken Old Bottles, he's not going to have any idea of what you just said. And um, it, it's... The idea of phonetics is to help get your call sign across. Whiskey 6, Lima, Golf. If I use uh, the country one, it's going to be Whiskey 6, London, Germany. Um, instead of saying something else like um, Life's Good, whatever the LG slogan is. Anyway, as situational awareness, be aware of who you're talking to, where he is. Think about what he's, um, what he's up against. Uh, stick with the ITU or the NATO phonetics. Uh, look them up on the AWRL website. Print them out if you don't know them. Uh, keep it at your uh, your operating table. 
uh, try to use those uh, to make it easier for the other guy because he's imagine a guy in Russia whose that Cyrillic alphabet is very different and he's really making the effort to make contact with you by uh, saying words in English that he's not all that familiar with and for whatever countries, it could be France, could be Spain, wherever that guy is, he's making an effort. You need to make an effort to, to help him out. Use phonetics that he's probably memorized, and uh, it, it'll be a lot more fun. If you've enjoyed this QSO, <laughs> excuse so yeah, I was thinking of my next uh, um, video, which is going to be about the art of the QSO. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, you might want to subscribe. Uh, the next video is going to be about the art of the QSO, which uh, I, I think is kind of interesting. Um, and uh, anyway, thanks for watching. 73, this is Jim, Whiskey 6, Lima Golf, 73. Uh, yeah, and you're saying Clayton Golf, Golf number one, Matando, Delta, November. Uh, you're 5'9". Uh, not as strong as Andy, about 5 to 10 dB weaker, but uh, touching the S9 mark. So, Trevor, we've also worked before. Nice to hear you again. I wish both of you a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, uh, great to hear you guys. It's uh, amazing propagation that... Uh, these uh, three regions can hear each other here at 20 meters. Samir, thank you for letting me break in. And, uh, uh, so the party's tomorrow. I thought it was yesterday. Sorry, I misunderstood. Go ahead, uh, Samir. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's, uh, it's going to be, uh, it is not finished tomorrow.